Good morning to you, Tanvir. Well, we are obviously tracking those lines from Premier Lee Chung after he wrapped up his opening remarks here at the World Economic Forum. Summer Davos in Tianjin, China. Really, overall, the message was positive uh, in terms of globalization, very much uh, intact right now, uh, despite some of the setbacks. I think the message overall was one that we often hear from China, largely a reiteration in terms of the warnings against protectionism and unity Multilateralism, referring to some countries, particularly in the West, uh, about, uh, of course, hyping up this idea of de-risking. Uh, there was a lot of uh, talk about uh, invisible barriers by some people. Of course, no references to any specifics around that. But uh, certainly a message for the foreign business community was effective communication, that engagement very much is key here for win-win uh, cooperation, obviously something we continue to hear from China. But something we are watching very closely as I was speaking to Borger Brenda about the president of uh, WEF yesterday with regards to hopes that there will be uh, more sort of, um, I suppose, confidence around foreign investing in China to drive global economic growth. But speaking of that, uh, China saying that it will continue to uh, provide a strong driving force to the global economy. Have a listen. China has served as an important anchor and source of impetus for free trade and stable growth in the world. In the longer time to come, China will continue to provide strong dynamism to the world economic recovery and growth. Now, of course, this is all very important because many economies around the world are looking to China really to pull the weight uh, for global growth this year. Although, uh, of course, we've been watching the recovery. It hasn't been strong as perhaps anticipated, particularly the story we were seeing playing out uh, in Q1. However, on the economy specifically, uh, Li Chang did seem confident about, of course, reaching that growth target that the government is punching for. He believes that uh, Q2 will be uh, stronger than Q1, but also also, something we've been waiting to hear about are policy steps to really uh, try to stimulate some of that growth around domestic demand. He said that more support measures uh, will be on the way, but uh, no specifics uh, at this stage uh, in terms of how they intend to do that. I think uh, investors and uh, many in the business community will still have questions, certainly, uh, about that moving forward. But all in all, it did look like uh, certainly a positive um, speech from Li Chang. Of course, he is a business guy, very business-minded. Uh, we did have some comments from Klaus Schwab off the back of that, uh, talking about how China shows great confidence uh, in terms of resilience right now uh, and also a commitment to global cooperation. But